We don't play the social game. We are social. Power 98.5. Empowering listeners from the US to the UK. Live on air with Stephen Cuoco. Hi, this is Dan Aykroyd. He's progressive. He's beautiful. He's thoughtful. He's intelligent. He's powerful. He's positive. He is Stephen Cuoco on Power 98.5 Satellite Radio. Prepare yourself. Okay, let's go. Joining us here live on air with Stephen Cuoco with Sid Kingsley. That's Don't Think Twice. Or Don't Think Twice, It's All Right. By his, uh, there, it is. there it is. I'm looking forward to that vinyl coming in, my friend. You have any idea when it will be? Um, I, it's going to be the first of the year, probably, right You know, right in January. Um, I'm going to talk to the uh, distributor, and we'll, we'll have a hard date on that soon. But. I'm excited as well because I, I, I'm out of copies myself and I didn't save myself one. <laughs> <laughs> and I would have loved to have received a, a signed autograph from you on that one. Oh, uh, I think I can make that happen. Okay. I can definitely make that happen. Please do. So, yeah, I can definitely make that happen. Give us a little backstory about this vinyl that I be, will be receiving soon. Um, so it's titled uh, Good Way Home, uh, which is... Uh, the the very first song that I ever wrote, um, I wrote it, I don't know, almost eight years ago um, in the mountains of Virginia. Um, I, I don't really, it's not really about anything. It's just kind of a images and, and, it, and it is kind of loosely about things that were going on in my life at the time. That was when I first met my fiance, my now fiance. So it was just kind of a, you know, kind of pining for her kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and then just, just different social situations. But uh, we did the album. Uh, about two years ago, two or three years ago, um, through Ameri- American Paradox Records, and recorded it and uh, put it to vinyl, and you know people seem to really like it. I, I definitely love it. I love the production of it, um, and I'm I'm really happy with it, and I'm glad that people loved it enough to to really uh, to sell it out. So we're repressing it. What inspired the diving helmet i i don't recall or know the name of that but it's so simplistic um it's it, it's funny because you, you said you're in new jersey that's actually they they actually manufacture those helmets in bayonne new jersey it's a it's a mark five navy diving helmet mm-hmm. um the i don't know the image of that i just i you know i i have an affinity for water in general and um i was in the military for eight years in the coast guard which has nothing to do with the navy but <laughs> um, the image of that helmet, I, I don't know. I just, it kind of stuck with me. It was just an idea that kind of came up and I, I don't know. I just really like it. So I had a friend of mine draw up a logo using that and rest is history. It's just been kind of following me around and I actually have an actual helmet that I bring and put on stage or on the merch table when I do shows. That thing's got to be heavy though. Yeah, it's it's like 65 pounds, <laughs> but it's a, definitely a, a conversation piece and, you know, definitely draws attention. Are you the one carrying it around with you or do you have an assistant or someone that's taking around that 65 pound helmet? <laughs> an assistant? No, no, <laughs> no, no assistance. I'm not, uh, I'm not there yet where I've got other people doing my, my dirty work. 
Oh, you will be though. Come on. Uh, hey, I hope so. Isn't that the dream? Uh, <laughs> it's why it's why you're on the voice, right? Yeah, exactly. It's like, hey, I'm tired of carrying this helmet around. Can you do it? You and I, in our last interview, uh, mm-hmm. had a really great conversation. And thank you for coming back on. Thanks we, for having me. We touched, you're worth it. We touched on um, the fundamental aspect of how well in the share about this season of The Voice and your stage presence, the independence, Mm -hmm. the ownership that you have, as well as how you've really, from what I've seen online and Google searched you and listening to your music, Mm -hmm. you come... From a very interesting background, being a child that was alone, very much. Right. Yet, it didn't jade you to not be able to have those interpersonal skills with other people. And what I love most about you and being on season 19 of The Voice and with your other counterparts that are there, the energy Mm -hmm. is very surreal, if that's the right word to put it in a way that you fit so perfectly at the most perfect time to be on television, your album, just everything just moves so elegantly and you don't have to work hard. There's no force. There's nothing that says this isn't the right time for you. Wow. That's uh, that's probably the nicest thing anybody's ever said. That's awesome. Um, I'm, I'm glad that it appears that way, you know, that it seems effortless, you know. Um, there's definitely a lot of work that goes into it, you know, just people can't see behind the scenes, you know, what I do to a song or, but, you know, a lot of effort's been put in through the years. So it's like, at this point, it's all just kind of culminating into this one, you know, arena and it's, and it's coming off well. And I, and I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm at the, the, the prom, my prom right now as far as, you know, all the practice I've put in over the years to get to where I am right now. So I feel like it's it's all happening, you know, synergistically or if that's even a word, but it's it's all happening right now and it feels like it is the right time. Do you believe, Sid, that everything that's been designed in your life and how you grew up, the area you grew up in, what your childhood was like, Mm-hmm. becoming the man who you are at who you are now uh your experience working in a coast guard do you have regrets or do you see everything perfectly as it is um i, I definitely see everything uh being happening for a reason i have no regrets uh, there's not you know there's nothing i'm sure i could you know think a long time like oh that was an embarrassing moment i probably shouldn't have done that but it's like no i don't have any regrets about how i've you know, it all is part of, uh, you know, the, the story of my life and, and made me who I am today. So it's like, no, I have zero regrets on how I've, you know, because if I change, you know, think if I change one thing, that could be the one thing that didn't lead to another thing that, you know, I could have never started playing piano or, you know, realizing I could sing, you know, just kind of, so everything happens how it's supposed to. And I'm just kind of letting my truth live itself out. Do you feel and believe that you have progressed in such a way while being on The Voice that these skill sets and this experience is something that really was something you needed right now in your life? Um, definitely. Um, just doing this show, I mean, it's, it's definitely pushed me in totally different directions as an entertainer, you know, where, you know, I've always been a musician and there's a, there's another element to it when you're when you're doing entertaining, you know, whether it's, you know, having more stage presence or and all that stuff and just in trying songs that I wouldn't normally do. Um, so it, all the skills have definitely in my ability to improvise. So being like a, to kind of go with the flow, it's like. I feel like that's definitely helping me here because I can it, it, hel- it helps me to be able to take a song and interpret it, make it mine. And it somehow comes through on the through the camera lens and onto the TV screen and it all just seems to work out. So yeah, I, I definitely think any of the, the skills that I've gathered along the way have definitely are helping me in this situation. 
you're not married yet, are you? No, not yet. We were supposed to get married in October, but uh, with COVID, we just didn't feel um, that we could bring, you know, a bunch of family members together, especially now. It's, you know, with everything kind of rising back up. Um, so we're still playing that by year. But hopefully in 2021, we'll, we'll see what happens. I hope to be invited to the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what I, I'll send it. I'll send it with the bottle. <laughs> I'll make sure I wear my mask. I just had a COVID test done. It came back negative, but it was definitely a interesting experience because all I wanted to do was sneeze. Yeah. Well, it depends on I've, uh, you know, doing the voice, we get tested, you know, every other day, um, you know, make sure everybody's healthy, but they have different tests. Yeah. I've only done two of the ones that I call them the brain ticklers. They go all the way back. Mm -hmm. Those are definitely not, uh, definitely not my favorite. I want to give a shout out to Gabrielle, uh, your soon to be future wife. Uh, she mm -hmm. seems to really ground you. <laughs> and how? Yes, she does. <laughs> like, what? honestly, if it wasn't for her, I don't know. Uh, I'd probably be in a ditch somewhere. Who knows? You know, she, she definitely, Definitely is my guiding light in life. She, she's, she's usually, you know, I might fight her on something and be like, no, I can do it this thing, but she's usually right. You know, it's like, so I've learned that it's, it's better to listen to her. She seems to have more uh, wisdom in certain situations. Before you auditioned for The Voice, what was her thought, her emotion about this for you? Um, so she's, she's brought it up before. She's like, you know, you should really – you know, I'd been hammering away at the, you know, the local scene type thing, you know, like really trying to, you know, do the, the road dog thing, you know, going up and down the East coast and even out West, you know, just kind of thinking I was going somewhere, but really I was spinning my wheels and she's like, no, you need to try a different Avenue. You know, you need bigger stages. So she was, she's definitely been the one that's been, you know, my champion in the corner being like, you need, you need to do this. Like stop. Like, and she let me do my thing for a while. And she's like, okay, are you tired yet? You want to, you want to try something my way now? And that's kind of how that went. And she was right as usual. Here we are. <laughs> I would like to, as shared with you before we came on that, uh, here in the Northeast where all of the New Jersey, New Yorkers can relate to that, no matter where you live, when we get a nice, overcast, cloudy, stormy, rainy day, our internet mm -hmm. likes to buffer and buffer <laughs> and buffer. That joyous little spin wheel that likes to just go round and around and around with no available end. Mm -hmm. I would like to go in and let's see what we can do. I said a nice prayer to <laughs> <laughs> for the blind auditions of this season of The Voice, season 19. You singing Bob Dylan's Don't Think Twice, It's All Right. How about that? Mm -hmm. All right, let's try it. All right, so ladies and gents and everyone that's tuning in, we are live on YouTube, uh, on Facebook, live on air with Stephen Quilk on Power 98.5 with Sid Kingsley. Uh, bear with us. We will get one of these videos working Always got a great tech team. Everyone's always figuring out what we can do to make this happen. So, Sid Kingsley, everyone. That's amazing. Even you don't know by now. Okay, well, it looks like we're going to try another video. <laughs> the other one seemed to work better. The other one seemed to work better. All right, everyone. So this one is Bailey Ray versus Sid Kingsley, Chris Stapleton's Tennessee, Tennessee Whiskey, The Voice Battles. Mm -hmm. So let's see if the internet gods will favor us here. <laughs> <laughs> to spend my nights out in the bar room mm -hmm. Liquor was the only love I know But you 
That's what I'm talking about. this range that I, I wasn't expecting because you're quite gravelly, but at the end you showed this other side of your voice that I was like, whoa, <laughs> Bailey, you started off kind of timid in a beautiful way, but when you really belt out, your tone is so strong and beautiful, and I would definitely listen to your records. Sid has a full package going on, but I love Bailey's voice a lot. I do think this particular performance lent itself a bit to you, Sid. Your entrance was so strong, and Bailey, you have such a gift. It's really, really beautiful. Thank you. And I love your tone. It's the style of country I love. But I think in this one battle, I do think it kind of lent itself a little more to Sid. Bailey, my hometown buddy here, there's something so refreshing about your voice. It reminds me of like a Patty Loveless, very powerful, but beautiful, clean tone at the same time. But I couldn't tell if it was pitch or just such a low part of your register that I just had a hard time hearing it. Now, Sid, on the other hand, I was hearing your voice through the speakers in the room, and I was also hearing it directly across the <laughs> stage. I guess as much as I'm a fan of Bailey, I think Sid took this one. Both of you gave a fantastic performance, made me so proud. I was just dreaming about this song <laughs> for some reason last night, and sometimes I write songs in my dreams. So I was thinking I was writing a song when I woke up, and then I realized I didn't write this song. <laughs> <laughs> Bailey Ray, I love your tone. I love the twang. It just feels natural. And Sid, I love your attack of the song. There was a musicality and a passion to your performance that I thought were very strong. John, the time has come. Who is the winner of this battle? I think both of you are incredible. So it's a tough decision for me. The winner of this battle is Bailey Ray. Bailey Ray, congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> it was very close to me, but uh, I decided to go with Bailey Ray because something about her voice just stands out and is unique. You did it. Great job, Bailey Ray. Fantastic. Never had a pure country singer, and she is the genuine article. Oh my gosh, that did not just <laughs> I'm like tearing up right now. Coaches, let me remind you, Sid is available to steal or save. Sid, anything you want to say to John? Uh, John, you've been a great coach. I'm really grateful for this opportunity and the experience. Thank you, Sid. That was an impossible decision for me. Give it up again for Sid Kingsley, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Stolen! <laughs> we waited 
to the last second, Kelly. We are still! I had to steal Sid because I have no one on my team that sounds like Sid. I love that kind of rasp, like, I love that whole vibe. I'm telling you what, you opened your mouth and I literally, I mean, I had floored. to stand up. I was floored. <laughs> Welcome to Team Kelly, man. You're I'm so good. I'm glad to be on. Yeah! Oh! Give it up for Sid Kingsley, ladies and gentlemen. From Team John to Team Kelly, congratulations, That's right. Sid. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And you know, I just want to say, like, Bailey's voice is absolutely amazing. Like, I, I really, like, her 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 tone and timbre of voice, like, her style of country is so amazing. Because it is, it is like John said, it's, it's genuine. It's authentic. She's not faking it. And it's amazing. I would love for you to consider doing something for your new album with her. You know, I, I actually did a, a, a one of her hometown Oklahoma radio stations. They were like, "Yeah, y'all should." We know we've got a studio. We know some people in the studio. You know, so I, I would be totally open to that. I think our voices blend really well together. Do you have any plans for a new album, say by next year or something? Um, so I have a lot of stuff that's that's in the you know we'll call it in the can that's already recorded, ready to come out. Um, I've gotten really just because of the the nature of music right now, I feel like albums are, you know, putting out an album, you put all that work into it. People, people's attention spans right now aren't as, as, as much. So they're not going to listen to a, a long playing album, but releasing singles um, seems to be something that, that, that it's kind of like the fifties again, you know, where 45s were popular. So I'm going to definitely be releasing music. I don't know if it'll be as an album, but I'll definitely be releasing singles. And Maybe by the end of the year, I'll put them all in one thing and release an actual like vinyl copy. With watching that again, this is why I love this show so much. This is why, uh, you know, performances and artists such as yourself bring the integrity level of what an independent artist is all about to see it in the raw and to, mm -hmm. to emphasize. And I said this on the last interview. I love that there's no live audience because we get to keep our attention. The cameras stay on you guys. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah, it's it's all it's you know I, I've you know I didn't ever had the the pleasure of of doing this show with, with an actual live audience, so I don't know what it would have felt like to have them there. But it, it was definitely it felt super intimate. Um, I don't know if I said before, but like uh, it looks like on TV that the way the lenses they have and the cameras, it looks like that, you know, they're really far away, but they're, they're really not, they're right there. So it's, it's definitely very intimate and very uh, intimidating in a way. <laughs> After hearing that, how do you feel uh, with, with your performance, with the fact that people do believe in you artists such as John Len legend, you know, Kelly Clarkson, they mm -hmm. see the greatness that we all see in you. Do you see the same for yourself? Um, you know, I, I try to take it all in stride as far as like, you know, I'm always trying to outdo myself. Um, it's always nice to have other people kind of, uh, give you validation, you know, to mm -hmm. be like, Hey, you're, you're on the right path. So yeah, I mean, it feels really good to, to have people of their caliber, you know, and they've been in the entertainment industry for a long time, you know, so, you know, some of them longer than I've been actually, you know, playing out and performing. So and the amount of Grammys they all have. So yeah, it's really nice and validating to have someone be like, Hey, you're, you're actually doing the right thing. Is there anything else you would like to share with us about your album? Good way home. Um, no, I'll share that, you know, though we've got vinyls on pre-order. Um, <laughs> nice. Uh, you know, so we'll have that out. It, it was a lot of fun making that, you know, I'm ready for the next, the next, uh, my sophomore album, you know, that'll be, I'm really looking forward to recording that, but yeah, that's all I really have to say about the good way home. You know, it's a great album. Uh, you should listen to it. It's on Spotify, iTunes, uh, Deezer title, all those anywhere you can get music. It's there. Who would you like to give a shout out to my friend? I'll give a shout out to, uh, last show. I gave one to my fiance. I'll give one out to Bailey Ray. You're killing it. Voice is amazing. Uh, it was really awesome to be able to do a battle with you. She's, you guys are solid team. She is awesome. That was yeah. literally to watch that, uh, for us to watch that, all of us here in the studio, it just revved me up. Like <laughs> I just, I've got my Starbucks sitting here right next to me and I don't even need it. And that's not any BS. Like, And it's decaf too. Like 
seriously, what's it going to do for me? But to watch that performance, I felt both of you and the ownership. Yeah. I have to emphasize ownership, ownership, ownership. You guys mm-hmm. kept to your own narrative. You created such a beautiful chemistry and synergy of partnership. And I so want to continue to see this uh, on The Voice with you, uh, with Bailey, everyone who is going to continue to the next rounds. Uh, the Voice will be on tonight, 8 p.m. Mm-hmm. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, tune in to our event. Uh, anything else on your mind? Because, man, what a vibe. Uh, no, I, you know, I don't really have anything else, you know, going on. I'm just ready for the uh, the knockout starting tonight. So we'll we'll see what uh, what drama unfolds there. It'll be great. <laughs> Please <laughs> offer some additional information to the listeners to get your new album. Uh, you can head over to my website, SidKingsley.com or SidKingsleyMusic.com. Both of those domains work. Uh, you can also find me on Facebook under Sid Kingsley and Instagram under Sid Kingsley. And I always have links in all those places to find the album um, and also under Spotify. And if anyone who may not have a vinyl player, there mm-hmm. is an option to purchase a CD. Yes, there is. The old, uh, you know, I've, I always buy CDs from, from musicians and I don't actually own a CD player at this point anywhere, but I, <laughs> I'll buy them, you know, just to support. But yeah, if you have CD player, we, we have CDs as well. Thank you to Kristen at NBC. Thank you to NBC. Thank you to you, Sid. I uh, am so happy for this opportunity with you. And I'm, hey, so, I'm go ahead. I'll say I'm really, I'm yeah, really grateful that you wanted me on the show, you know, twice even. That's amazing. Like, Thank you so much. I'm glad you you all are enjoying it. I hope you come back on again. Anytime you've got a new album coming on, um, you know, whether you're on NBC or you're somewhere else, mm-hmm. I always like to say to everyone that is a guest here on Live on Air with Stephen Cuoco on Power 98.5, you have a home here. So you are not a one-hit wonder. You will not be treated as a one-hit wonder. And I'm truly, truly grateful to Kristen and to NBC especially to have you twice here on Power 98.5 and what beautiful music you're offering here. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Have a great day. Sid Kingsley, everyone. Thank you.
just guessing at numbers and figures pulling the puzzles apart questions of science science and progress do not speak as loud as my heart tell me you love me come back and haunt me oh and I rush to the side running in circles chasing my tail Us on your socials and let's connect. 